I'm Roy Gunther with the city of McAllen for the McAllen Cable Network. With me right now is Senator Eddie Lucio Jr., who's opening up a new office here in the city of Far. Tell us, Senator, uh, give us your location and what's going on. It's right here on the expressway, uh, right next to KGBT TV, uh, and it's I, I think it's right on the line, uh, Far and McAllen. So I'm pretty happy. This is uh, the third time that I move here in uh, Hidalgo County, my, my district office in the last 23 years that I've served as a state senator and, and represented this area. I'm elated, it's a beautiful office. More importantly, it will be um, you know open for, for business uh, here in this area of the valley. And everyone's welcome to, to come by, obviously, and, and address, uh, so we can address the issues that they're interested in. Well, let me tell you, you had a lot of important issues that were important in South Texas uh, this last legislative session. Tell us about both the medical school and UTPA and UTB. Well, you know, this is what I've been waiting for. It's a dream come true for me uh, for so many years now. Uh, when I first got elected state representative in 1986, uh, I always felt that I should, should be regional in my thoughts and addressing issues regionally, you know, the whole Valley Plus, because um, the, you know, my, the things we passed, the, the uh, good public policy, uh, I would hope, would impact the entire region. So when I became a state senator, I wanted to make sure that I, I did everything I could to unite the Valley, to bring it together under one roof, and to make sure that we did away with with uh, boundary lines, uh, city limits, county limits, and we, we addressed the issues of one people in one area of the state that was very important. Um, so I think the, 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 the university uh, legislation did that. It brought the valley together. We have now one university for all. And of course the medical school is also something that I started back in 1990. When I say I started, it was my staff and I did a seven year study. Uh, we interviewed many, many people, doctors, business people, and then just people out in their homes. We wanted to know how they felt about the possibility of bring, bringing a, a medical school to the Valley as early as 1990. And, uh, the response was fantastic. Some of those folks are, are no longer with us. My my champion, Dr. Carlos Godinez, you know, and and uh, and, and others, uh, you know, really helped me along the way. Uh, I could name so many, but the important thing is that this is the culmination of all of that. Uh, with by coming together, uh, the delegation, the the senators, representatives, and working toward one end we've been able to accomplish this great feat. And, and politically, it's, it's a wonderful victory for us as well. It took bipartisanship, it took people coming together, um, even though this is not a, a, a partisan issue, but it's an issue that requires both political parties to, to support. And I was happy to be part of that. I was happy to, to do everything I could along the way uh, all these years. So to me, it's, it's, it's a, um, it's, it's, it's an incredible, uh, you know, uh, accomplishment that uh, now will we'll serve uh, generations to come here in the Valley. Well, thank you very much, Senator. Also, people don't understand that there may not be session going on, but that doesn't stop you all from working. You're, this, all the elected uh, officials, both from the state legislature, the House of Representatives, to the state senators, you, you're still working on projects that you're hoping to bring up the next session. Tell us about some of the things you, you'd like to see. Uh, yes, sir, that's, very, that's a very good point. Uh, there's 31 senators and 150 state representatives, uh, 31 in the Senate, 150 in the House of Representatives. Uh, and you know, we meet odd numbered years for 140 days, regular session. So when we say we're, we're going to work in, you know, during the interim, what we're talking about is uh, starting the last day of the regular session until the session starts again. The session will start again. A regular session will, will start in January of 2015. Between the, the last of May or June 1 of this year and January 2015, that's an interim period that we use to study, to, to uh, get our committees that we serve on uh, and, and do some studies on issues that we're going to be addressing next legislative session. So I'm excited about that. We've got some of the charges already. 
uh, that are, have been given to us, uh, but we're still waiting for most of them still from Lieutenant Governor David Dewhurst. Uh, I serve on the uh, Finance Committee, which means that I will once again, if I get reappointed to that committee, write the state's budget. Uh, I serve on the uh, Education Committee. I'm vice chairman of that committee. And this year, we were able to do so many things that we had not been able to do in years past. Number one, because I wasn't on the Education Committee. And, and uh, just number two, I couldn't get enough people to support the issues that, that I wanted to, to us to, to pass. This year was different because I, I, I served as vice chairman of that committee. And uh, you can do a lot more when you're in the inside. Uh, I also serve in the State Affairs Committee that takes up and considers major pieces of le legislation such as insurance, the lottery, and, and other I water, other issues, well, uh, water issues in terms of insurance issues such as uh, uh, issues that impact the coastal area of our state. But right now, I think we ought to be preparing ourselves. And oh, by the way, I'm also on the Business and Commerce Committee, and that's where I'm going in my next uh, thought here. Um, I just got back from Panama, and they're going to complete the second canal uh, that connects the Atlantic with the Pacific and in the Caribbean. And it's going to be something very special because we're going to be able to entertain larger container ships at the Port of Brownsville and other Texas ports that will afford us an opportunity to beef up uh, the, the, uh, the economic development that we want to see take place here, more jobs uh, and more opportunities in the future for business. So uh, it's an exciting era, and, and um, I'd like to kick off this year by uh, fin finalize the year and kick it off by opening up this real nice office here um, in the Far McAllen area. I couldn't be more happier than and to finish it up like this. Well, let me ask you, uh, Expressway 83 connects Brownsville all the way up to Roma. You represent a large major part. You've been in an office for many years. In your opinion, how has the valley changed and where are we going? Yes, it's a uh, valley has changed dramatically. When I got, I got to uh, Austin in 19, January of 1987, we didn't have a six lane highway. Uh, we didn't have uh, a UT system. Uh, we, we didn't have uh, the possibility of getting spaceports, uh, which we're going to get here in the valley. There's so many things that uh, were not there. The infrastructure uh, and the highways and all, and the interstate, none of that was exist existed. So, yes, yeah, uh, a lot has been accomplished, and a lot more will continue to take place uh, with the leadership, whoever serves in these offices. Uh, but whoever does serve needs to understand that they need to echo the sentiments of the people they represent. It's all about serving people's wishes. And right here we have, we have men and women, for example, who are educators, who are so committed and so, so dedicated to, the, to their children, to our children, to our grandchildren, grandchildren. I didn't have five grandchildren when I started out in the legislature. I'm the happiest grandpa in the valley, and I'm sure a lot of people say the same thing. They're happy grandparents. Our kids will continue now more than ever to be able to get an education, stay at home, make a life for themselves right here, and be part of the leadership in the future. That is my hope, and that is what I've worked on for all these years. And it's with your leadership that you can expand services to all the citizens in South Texas by working together. And I think it was your leadership that sort of brought the coalition of every elected official to work together. And we talk about the valley now in South Texas, the Rio Grande Valley. It's never about my backyard. So uh, many fortunes in the future and, and continue to provide great services like the university, not only for the older generation, but the younger generation who will be actually the future generations of South Texas. Let me just say that that uh, faith, my faith, drives my agenda. Uh, it's important for us to, to know that we belong to one another, that we should care and understand and, and appreciate and help one another. That's what um, I think our, our very lives were intended to be for. So I will continue as long as the people here in the Valley want me to be their state senator in District 27. But I think it's important for all to know and all that are listening that faith 
is what I think has been the most important factor in my life that has driven me, I believe, in the right uh, uh, direction and will continue to do so. I, I, I invite everyone on this journey. It's a beautiful journey, and it's one that's full of hope and, and, and great, great doings because together we can certainly get things done. Uh, a community divided will find itself you know, just stepping backwards, but a community uh, united uh, is, is one that w regardless of who we are, what political parties we belong to, what churches we go to, a community united will always see a bright, bright light at the end of the tunnel and get to the end of the tunnel. And let me invite you on behalf of the senator, it's easy to find and accessible his office between McAllen and Farr, right next to the Papados and KGBT TV. It's right off the express where you can't miss it. Come give, give the office staff a visit. The senator is not always here because he's always working for the people of South Texas, but this office welcomes you. For the McAllen Cable Network, I'm Roy Cantu.